Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is a bit random, but I thought you might appreciate it because it's a collection. Long story short, I was looking for something in one of my makeup drawers and I had forgotten that I had bought some things out of House of Fraser a few years ago, so I thought it's actually more than a few years ago. And I thought it'd be good fun just to do not an unboxing, an unbagging of something that I bought or a little bit of shopping. It's not much, but I thought you might be interested to see what it is. So it's almost like a mystery bag because sometimes you buy things. For me, I bought it as collector's items, not that they are collector's items as in limited edition, but just to add to my collection for me. And um, well, I'll let you see because um, I remembered them, but at the same time, I'd actually forgotten them, if that makes sense. But I remember buying them, but I knew that I was never going to use them and I was just going to keep them for my collection. I thought it was only a couple of years ago, but it turns out it's a little bit more than that. So House of Fraser, as we know, it's not exactly House of Fraser anymore. If you're in the UK, it's slightly changed. So first thing is <laughs> the receipt. It's so old that the receipt's faded, but I could work out. I actually had to go up to a lamp and I it was a Boxing Day 2011 and it was at 3.53pm. So on Boxing Day 2011, I went into Glasgow, I went into House of Fraser and I've got myself some bargains. So the first thing that I've bought is some eyelashes. Biba eyelashes. Now, at the time, I think eyelashes were just starting to come back in. Now, you know that I'm a Biba fan, so this isn't original Biba, but I thought that it might be nice to add to my collection. I'm not even sure if Biba's changed again. So these are nine years old now, so maybe at some point these will become collectors. So as you can see, it's quite dramatic lashes. And then on the other side, super dramatic lashes with the diamantes. Um, 18 pounds. I very much doubt that I paid 18 for them. If they're in the sale, I think they would be normally anywhere between about 13 and 70 percent in a sale. I'm guessing they were maybe about half price. So it's faux eyelashes. Add a touch of glamour to your look with Biba professional quality high impact faux eyelashes. Set contains two pairs of handmade faux eyelashes and lash adhesive. So there you go, that's those. And um, yeah, as I was saying, you might not think about it, but when I trained early 2000s, about 20 years ago, eyelashes were not in. Eyelashes were considered very old fashioned, very out of date. Strip lashes were, they were almost laughable if someone wore them because they just weren't cool. And individual lashes were fine. They looked really good, but strip lashes were just a pain. So it's funny now that strip lashes have been in for so long because I think everything is cyclical and at some point they will go out of fashion again. But yeah, when um, in 2011, they were definitely in, but not in the way that they are now where everybody's wearing them. But again, early 2000s, people weren't wearing them. So it's funny how things do go in and out of fashion. Okay, next we've got a Biba palette. So it is, now this is 20% off. So it was, £26 and I've obviously gotten it for £20.80. Baked eyeshadow palette, velvety soft mineral eyeshadows in opulent shades of molten, molten sorry, metal and precious jewels. Use a dampened brush for intense long wearing colour and if there's something there I'm just going to leave the stickers on, I'm not going to touch them. So I haven't looked in it since. I think I remember it being, so if it's metals, I think it was maybe greens and browns, but I could be talking rubbish. So it looks very similar to the original Biba packaging. And yeah, it's very reminiscent. It's as if they've tried to get it right, to try and mimic the 70s. Um, House of Fraser stores, though, that's different. It actually says um, House of Fraser Limited, Stockwell Street, Glasgow, but they're made in Italy. So obviously that's different. It was never that before. Oh, that's actually nicer than I remember. Can you see the, the glisten? So again, I'm not going to touch them. I'm not going to wear them. But yeah, you can see that catching the light. That's nice. Yeah, I like that. So they are going into the collection. I'll put them back in the box later. And I still wear the other thing because I did have a quick look in here. I've taken the tags off and put them in the bag. So I wonder if I've done that just to keep them because 
Again, I, I don't even know if people is still on the go. I'll need to have a look. But um, it was a t-shirt. So I still wear the t-shirt. Not all the time, but I still wear it. So it was a printed tee. Um, it doesn't say the price, though. Um, it says, it, I can see here that it was, um, it was £42 by the looks of it. But I'm guessing I maybe paid half price. I'll need to show you the t-shirt soon. I'll dig it out, let you have a look. Might even pop it at the end of this video. And then that must be something that goes with it too, but that's blank, so who knows? And then the last thing will make you laugh. This is very niche. This is for anyone that likes Mary Portis. Mary Portis did a television show where she trained up some people. I think they were unemployed and I think most of them had never used any sewing machines of any sort before, industrial or otherwise. And she trained them up in a factory in the UK and they decided that they were going to make knickers. <laughs> and I do remember vividly when I was in Fraser's, I saw them and I was like, oh, they've got the Mary Portis knickers. I have to get them. I haven't ever worn them. They're still here. But that is them. Kinky knickers. <laughs> so it was all about the fact that they were made in the UK. They're lacy, if I remember rightly. I don't remember there being any choice whatsoever. So I just picked the only ones that they had were violet and black. Um, £15. But I just remember it was all about this factory. And I remember the characters in it. They were hilarious. <laughs> Show your knickers, tell your friends. Friends rather buy British. So these are just a memento of remembering that Mary Portis show. So there you go. <laughs> They've not been worn. I very much doubt they'll be worn. I don't know if they're my colours, but that was all that they had. And I just remember thinking, oh, that's that Mary Portis show. So they will stay in my collection. So one day in my will, someone will get all of the Biba makeup and the Mary Portis underwear. Who will it be? Who knows? <laughs> but I hope you found that useful. That's it. Bag's empty. Just made me laugh when I found that bag and I thought that's something different. Rather than an unboxing, it's a what did I buy nine years ago. So I hope you enjoyed that. But what I'll do, I'll say goodbye just now and then I'll quickly uh, come back on and show you the t-shirt so you can have a look. So have a lovely day. I'll see you again soon, but I'll be back in a second. You can see that t-shirt that I still wear to this day. Right, and that's it. I don't know if you can see. Um, I'll try and hold it up so you can get a good look. So, that's it there. I didn't actually realise at the time. I'm so stupid. I thought it was a peacock for years and then I saw the face. Oh, sometimes I worry. So that's it. Now, that is, again, nine years old. Oh, I've lost count of how many times I've worn it, but it just feels as soft as ever. It hasn't faded. Even like the label, everything's absolutely perfect. So I've got no intention of stopping wearing it anytime soon. And that was my surprise shopping bag from nine years ago. So that is me really signing off now. Have a lovely day and I'll see you again soon.